Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by today. Grace Beer Reviews Beer of the Day. It's from Six Point, the uh, Six Point Brewery. This is an Imperial IPA. It's called Puff. Uh, it is a 9.8%, I think that's what it's got written on here. 9.8% uh, alcohol by volume, 108 IBUs, unfiltered ale. It says here on the bottom, um, Best Buy 24 August 20. I'm not a fan of this Best Buy. Uh, I got this in May, so May, June, July, August. Looks like they're giving it a three month shelf life, which is about all you can give uh, an IPA or a double IPA without the hops fading off tremendously, guys, and then turning into a malt bomb. I actually got this, I actually got two of these uh, from Six Point Brewery. They sent me, uh, they touched base with me on Twitter about a month ago, three weeks ago, wanted enough I want to be on their seasonal beer list like uh, for their new releases like I am with uh, Lagunitas. And I said, absolutely, guys. I gave them my address and everything. And uh, they sent me a package, I got it last week, and it had two of these in there. It also had this most excellent looking little tulip style glass. Uh, with their six-point emblem on it and the star on the back, their their uh, their emblem. Uh, also in the in the box, uh, there was a book of matches in there that had their emblem and stuff on it. Nice advertising, and a pack of rolling papers with their emblem and stuff on it. Am I smoke some, Am I supposed to smoke some dope with this, guys? I, I apologize. I used to smoke a lot of dope, and I had to give it up several years ago. Uh, didn't have to, but I needed to. I'd been smoking it for a long, long time. Uh, I was a hellion in my younger days, and uh, finally uh, gave it up. Switched over to cigars instead. More legal, anyway. Uh, it's not legal to to have or smoke dope here in Virginia. So I don't live in Colorado or or, or, or Washington or or none of those places where you can go to the dispensary and buy all you want. Uh, it's still illegal. You get caught with it here. You're in big trouble. Been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. So, first time I ever had a brewery send me rolling papers. So, uh, I'm sure they will get put to good use by somebody that I will give them to. Uh, I will be straight up honest with you. They sent me two of these beers. I've already had one of them was blown away. Uh, I knew I was going to do save one for the beer review, uh, and this is this is uh, this is it. So uh, I've already tasted it, but I'm going to reserve judgment and tell you what I thought of it. We're going to do this, and we're going to do it all over again. And I didn't pour it in this glass the first time. I poured it in a regular pint glass. So I'm going to pour it in the glass that they sent me and see, uh, see how it works. So I thought it would be very appropriate. So like I said, uh, commercial description says no commercial description on this. Uh, food pairings for this style of beer, cuisines, barbecue, cheeses, peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar, your stronger cheeses, Gorgonzola Lumberger, and the meat is game, grilled meat and salmon. Flash wire is a snifter tulip oversized wine glass. I know this is the right glass because they sent it to me with the beer. And it is a tulip style glass. It curves out at the top. Very nice glass. Very, it's not super thick walled like the solid beer glass that I have, but it's much thicker than a lot of them. The dogfish head and several other ones I've got that the walls are just super thin. I'm scared to death of freaking using guys. I mean, if you bang that little get anything whatsoever, they're going to crack. They're going to break. So, I put those glasses away. Uh, these thicker wall glasses like this, this this is a nice glass. It really is. So, the guys there at Six Point, thanks so much for putting me on your new release beer list. 
And thanks again for sending me the rolling papers and the glass and the matches and the two beers. Very nice. Thanks a bunch, guys. Alright, uh, it says here it can be seller because it's a big beer. Don't sell your IPAs or double IPAs. You're going to lose that hoppy freshness. Drink them as fresh as you can get your grubby little hands on. And they used to, if I, about my recollection, they used to have a canned on date. And they've gone to this Best Buy date, and I hate it. So, if you guys are six point of watching, you need to, if you want to put a Best Buy date on it, fine, but put the canned on date on it too. Uh, I, I want to know when this was put in the package. And let me make the decision on when I want to have it by. Just putting the Best Buy date on it, I don't know how, how old it is when I get my hands on it. Just my OCD guys, I want to see that. I'm not a fan of the Best Buy or Enjoy by names. I want to see that canned and bottled on day. Just me. Enough about that. Enough about that horse hockey. Alright. Nothing else we need to talk about. And this is a tall can, but it's a very skinny can. It's only 12 ounce can, but it's the same size as a 16 ouncer, but it's very skinny. And the foam is coming out of the top. And I don't know how big this glass is. And we'll see if this 12 ounce all fits in there. I'm going to pour it very gently so if I can see if I can get it all in there. And we're getting a little bit too much head. My head's at the top. There's a swallow up there. Now i got a feeling it'll fit in there. About a quarter a little lighter in there. Very carbonated beer. Very nice. Uh, about a finger and a quarter of head on that. Over to the light. It is a deep amber color. Not perfect for beer. It's got a slight haze to it since it's an unfiltered beer. It says that on the can. So that means they've left a little bit of that chunky, pulpy goodness in the beer by not filtering it. And it's a, that's one less step they have to do and a better step for us because we're going to get more taste. So, very nice. Let's get a nose on it. Oh, man. Piney, super piney resinous. I mean, this is done from the, the resin beer, what it's called, but it's not the same. They changed it up just a little bit. Uh, I don't think it's, even though it's 108 IBUs, I don't think it's quite as bitter as the resin. From what I recollect having the first one the other day. Let's reserve judgment on that. Let's, uh, piney, grapefruity, very West Coast style to me on the nose. Very, very nice. I'm good friends with Adrian, one of their sales reps that uh, goes around the East Coast and uh, does their uh, uh, tap takeover, pint takeover, where you get the glass. He comes through here quite often and he always calls me and we try to hook up. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Schedules, conflict and all that, but a great guy, a really nice guy. Adrian, cheers to you, my brother. Give me a ring when you're close by. And then he, then comes to Roanoke and Blacksburg and Lynchburg, and he always calls me and lets me know where he's at if he's in the vicinity. So, thank you, sir. Wonderful aroma on this beer. It is outstanding. Piney, grapefruit, mango, tropical fruit notes, citrusy. The hops are way up in your face. Very West Coast style. It's time. I'm drooling. Cheers. To me, even though it has 108 IBUs, it's not quite as bitter to me as the resin is. Now those hops in that beer are kind of bitter. They are definitely a double IPA, heavy hop bitter process in that brewing process. This seems, a, even though it's 108 and I, and I can tell it's, it's up there, they seem to be a little smoother though. That is delicious, guy. That's freaking delicious. That's, 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 I will definitely buy this beer. Now, I haven't been over to the craft beer store in a while. I have so many beers sent to me here recently. I've just been buying go-to beers. So I'm going to go over and see Martin and the guys before too long and uh, pick up some, uh, some, uh, some new stuff uh, and purchase for myself. Uh, there's really no use of me going over there with all the beers that's been sent to me by 
both Brandon's and Jeff and, and Lagunitas and Six Point and, 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 and all the rest of the guys that send me beers. So I don't want to go over there and buy beers when I have so many already in the fridge. I can't go over there and buy them and get them in the fridge. They're going to set out. So uh, it, it, it comes in spurts. Uh, a lot of times I'll get beer mail packages every week, sometimes two a week. And, and, and then all of a sudden it'll dry up and nobody's sending me beers and I'll go buy beers and, and review those kind. But right now, times are good and subscribers are generous and, and I do appreciate everybody that sends me these beers. So. Let's get the rest of it in there see if it gets any cloudier. That's what I wanted to do to make sure I got all that pulpy goodness into the glass. This is a great beer. Uh, I will try to pick up some of this. Like I said, the grocery stores don't have this. They don't carry the six point. The Kroger's here or the one across town uh, doesn't carry this. So uh, I haven't seen it here. I had a subscriber ask if I'd had it yet, and I said, well, I just had two sent to me and uh, going to review it very soon. So this will boast in about a week or so. I'm doing this on the 31st of May. So it'll, it'll probably post the second week of June somewhere in there. But Whenever you get an IPA or a double IPA, guys, check the date for freshness, bottom of the bottle, uh, bottom of the can, or, or on the bottle somewhere, and drink them as fresh as you can. You're going to be you're going to be much happier than picking up a beer that's three months, four months, five, even six months old that's in that's in this category, double IPA or an IPA. You're not going to be impressed. Uh, the hops are with will have faded off, and it'll be more malty, and it won't be what they are intending you to have. Even though they've got a, looks like they've got a three month shelf life on this, according to the date on the bottom. Not sure, just guessing, because I don't know when it was put in the can. Kind of figure since the brewery sent it to me, they sent me a fresh one. And judging by the date, uh, 24th, I'd say that's about a three month shelf life. I'm just guessing, but I, I'm, I'm sure of that. I'm sure the guys at Six Point want you to have it as fresh as possible. So I'm pretty sure they're doing a three month shelf life on this beer. But guys at Six Point, if you want to do the best by date, put the canned on date on there too. Or go back to the canned on date. I'm pretty sure y'all used to do that. So, But anyway, uh, that would be that would be good. Now, some of the breweries do that. They'll, they'll put a, uh, a bottled on or canned on date and then a best by date underneath that. So you'll know what they're giving it, whether it's a three, four, six month or longer shelf life. So that, that's, that's, that's more information for us, makes us make a better decision and know what we're buying. So. This is delicious, guys. It's got such tropical fruit notes, heavy West Coast, piney, grapefruity pineapple. And for 108 IBUs, they seem rather smooth, not super bitter. Very nice. The alcohol is basically undetectable. This would get you into trouble. And I'm not sure how this is packaged, whether it's done in a four pack or a six pack. Uh, but if you drink, you drink four of these, you're going to be in a hammer line. You're going to have your buzz on, no doubt about it. No freaking doubt about it. Because the alcohol is so well hidden on this. Very easy drinking for that big of an ABV beer. So, well, let me take it back and let her have a sip of two or three. And we'll come back and we'll do the final chug on this. Very impressive beer. Very nice. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on this probably about 35, 40 minutes or so, maybe a little longer. Other half loved this beer. And I knew she would because I loved it. Uh, she's a hop head just like I am. This is a very tasty beer. Very easy drinking for a 9.8%. Uh, very well done. Uh, I would and I will buy this beer again uh, next time I go to the barrel chest and see Martin and the guys out there. Because uh, like I said, the Kroger's around here doesn't carry this. Uh, they'd rather stock the Budweiser's and Miller's and the Coors Light instead of the craft beers. Uh, they sell more of that horse shit than they do anything else. So uh, that's why they get the, uh, the massive shelf space. Uh, the, the distribution in Virginia is horrific. Uh, if you're drinking that kind of beer, they're going to have all of it. You, you can get your grubby little hands on it. Six packs, 12 packs, 18 packs, 24 packs, kegs, they, they, they got all that shit. Uh, and, and, that, and, and the big guys, uh, they buy that shelf space up. Uh, and the poor little craft brewers uh, uh, get what they get and that's it. So uh, there's still a lot of young 
crowd that buys that stuff and takes it to their parties or whatever and they sell a lot of it and, and it's a lot cheaper than the craft beers because it's made with those horse shit ingredients uh, pardon my French but that's it is uh, it's made to be drunk massive quantities uh, and to get drunk that's, that's all it's made for it has no taste uh, unless you just love the taste of corn and rice and yuck so uh if you're drinking craft beer, you're limited to what they have the, the, the rest of the shelf space for. That's how it works in Virginia. I mean, unless you want to buy something good, uh, you're limited to that, or you have to go to a place like the Barrel Chest and, and, uh, and buy Because they don't carry any Budweiser or Miller Coors at the Barrel Chest. And a lot of the craft uh, beer places like the Barrel Chest and several other places around town don't carry that that kind of beer and if I had a store I would not carry that kind of beer either so uh, very tasty I love this beer this is a, this is definitely a winner it's definitely worth picking up the only bus I've got is their best by date and even though they're more than likely giving it a three month shelf life put the can on date on it guys that's my only fuss at you at six point that you've gone away from the can on date to a best by date I don't like that. Even though you're doing a three month and that's basically all you're going to get out of an IPA or double IPA before it starts getting more maltier and uh, and gets less hoppier. And, and, and us being hop heads, that's why we buy these beers. To get that hop, that massive hop profile. And if you're buying those beers after that three month shelf life with no date or a best by date, uh, we're losing out. We're spending our hard-earned money on a beer that's not up to snuff. So, if you want to put the best buy date on it, fine. But put the canned on date on it too, so we know when it was put in a can or bottle, and when you want us to have it by. We'll make that decision. We'll we'll, we'll decide between the canned on date or bottled on date, and when the best buy date is. Somewhere in that area, the closer to the fresh freshness date, the uh, canned or bottled on date is going to be better. Of course, the first, I'm going to say four weeks. The four, first four weeks, you're going to get everything that they want you to get. After that, it starts dropping off a little bit each week. And by the end of three months, if you're buying this four months old, and you got one that's fresh, two or three weeks old, you're going to be able to tell the difference. I can. I can tell the difference on something that's two or three weeks old as opposed to two or three months old. I can and most most guys that drink craft beers can too. So, drink it fresh, guys. Let's do the final chug on this one before I keep flapping my gums. This is an excellent beer. Very well made. I love the unfiltered version. Get all that pulpiness and, and, and cloudiness and a lot more taste. Cheers. Delish. Delish. A hop head lover's delight. Wow. Very tasty. And speaking of the beer, puff. I didn't I didn't puff on any any kind of illegal stuff while I was having it, but I did go out there and puff on a cigar. And had a brick house Maduro wrapped uh, cigar. Went very well with this. A little a little heavy for this style of beer. I usually save those Maduro wrap for these the porters and stouts, but this is a big beer. It's almost a 10%, 9.8%. Went very well with it. Very nice. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, guys, this is definitely an A beer. Love this beer. Very nice. Thanks again to the guys at Six Point for sending me a couple of them in the glass and the matches and the rolling papers. Uh, I, th I think it's an A beer, like I said, and I will give this a 9 out of 10. The only thing that's keeping me from giving it a 10 is a canned on date. I don't mind if you, if you want to put a Best Buy date on it, that's fine. Put the canned on date on it too, so I'll know when it was put in the can, and I'll make the decision when I want to have it by, and I'll make sure I have it by your Best Buy date, but I want to know when it was put in the can. And everything they do is put it is a can. They don't do any bottles at six point. So, that is the only fuss I've got. Nine out of ten for me, if I was picking a numeric rating on this guy, it would probably be a 97 or a 98, because I don't have a canned on date. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 93 in the outstanding range. It is an outstanding beer. If you can get your hands on it, get it. 
Thank you for a hop head. You will not be disappointed. And then we rate beer, they say 99 overall and 98 in the stop. I'm more in line with those guys. I think 93 is a little bit low. But maybe those guys are thinking, we want a canned on date. I don't know. I do. I want a canned on date. If you want to put a Best Buy date on it, go ahead. All right. We got a 93 from Beer Advocate. We got a 97, 98 from me. Uh, and I could just as easy give it a 99 too, but I'm not going to give it 100 with the Best Buy date. Just not going to happen. Not going to happen. Even though it's an outstanding beer, had a canned on date on it, you might get a 100 from me. It is that tasty. But I'm not going to do it with a Best Buy date. Just not going to do it. 99 overall, 98 from Rank Beer. It is that awesome, guys. So if you see it in the store, pick it up. If you had it, the puff. Let me know what you think, guys. Rolling papers from a brewery. Imagine that. They advertise on everything nowadays. It was cool. I enjoyed it. All right, guys. If you had it, let me know. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what we dig out of the fridge then. See you there.